Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode of Near Automata. So basically, when I stopped, or when I finished the last episode, I got chapter select. So I wanted to go back and get those two quests that I did with A2 that, uh, let me, that A2 could not do because I was a derp and uh, made the, uh, progressed the story further than I should have. So we are doing the second half of, of two, oh my goodness back. Let's see. There we go. The first one is this, well, custom marker, but let's see what's on here. Why aren't you working? Get off of there. Storage element. So Pascal asked us to look in on a child machine, I believe. So we're going to go check right now. And uh, I'm level 66, which is crazy. I have noted a couple places that I found unlocked chests, so I'm gonna also have to go back and find those. They're probably just alt. Oh, here's another one. All right, I'm gonna have to go back for that one too. All right, so I've got one in the oasis. Oh my God, I tried to, I tried to get this beetle fish for the last hour and I was having none of it. I fished for an entire hour. Whoop. trying to get that thing and it just was not happening but I did find a couple of little chests the other ones in the amusement park and then I just found that one so I'll have to uh, go for that wow there's a big guy up here let's let's finish you off whoa there's a lot of you Whoopsies, whoopsies. Oh my goodness, getting chained. Holy crap. What do I have got on here? Plug-in chips. Oh, of course, the hacking one. Enemy machines destroyed. So this is the part Pascal wanted? Can't believe I'm killing machines to save a machine. <sighs> ah, screw. All right. Better go see Pascal. All right. Holy crap, that was... That was crazy. I don't know why my, co my uh, combo didn't work. Let's try it on somebody over here. Just to make sure that it still works. Oh, these guys don't do that. We'll try it on a different poor unsuspecting machine. <laughs> but yes, lock chest. This is the same one, right? Yeah, all right. I'll have to remember to bring 9S back to all these areas. Okay, I'll see you guys at uh, Machine Village. Now that I've collected both quests. All right, let's give this back to this guy. Did you find the materials? Excellent. Just give me a moment. Five minutes later. Done. I've built what you requested and installed it where the children like to play. That was fast. By the way, the children said they wanted to thank you personally. They're at the top of the village playing near the slide. They'll be happy to see you, I'm sure. I didn't notice that guy go up there. What is he? Oh my goodness, it's a slide. Can I slide down this thing? Oh, whoa. <laughs> I mean, I went up the wrong way, but let's get this thing. What do you guys have to say? Hey, it's Big Sis. Big Sis, thanks for building this, Big Sis. Yeah, thanks. Uh, sure. Hey, Big Sis. Huh, what now? Uh, we just wanna give you something, cause you helped us? A level up to. <laughs> it's a thank you present. Yeah, thank you. Play with us complete. Ah, A2. Hey, Pascal. Ah, don't do that, Pascal. I apologize if I scared you. I heard you built some play equipment for our children and wanted to thank you in person. Don't worry about it. Try not to overwork yourself, all right? Feel free to pay us another visit whenever you'd like. Actually, have what? Pascal, we gotta talk. Pacifist machines, huh? Wait, can I slide down this? <laughs> Hypothesis. Forming a harmonious relationship with Pascal and the villagers may help Unit A2 
to to obtain more materials. Proposal. Investigate the village. Hmm. Yay! Slide. Nope. Slide. Uh, almost. Maybe not enough friction. Or not, or too much friction for us. Let's see what Pascal has to say, because we've got this other quest as well. I, too, you've got the part needed to repair the child. I cannot thank you enough. This is meager compared to what you've done, but please take it. Ooh, a meteorite. We still need a shard, though. In all honesty, we could have transferred the child's core to another body instead of repairing the original. This process allows us to resurrect ourselves as many times as we want. However, it comes at the cost of our memories. So in a way, he would no longer be the same child. Thankfully, this is no longer an issue. Thank you so much. Storage element complete. Like a computer. Forgive my intrusion. Okay. I think those are the two that we needed to do. This one, this guy has this one. I think these quests are active quests. Just the reconnaissance. Um, ooh, we've got 90% of cleared quests done. I think the last two are Jackass's research, for sure. I think that's it. So, I'm gonna go do that one, but I have to become 2B, so we will do that. Toot sweet. Okay, we are back and we are 2B at this time, and I want to do that Say fishing quest. Beast. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? 9S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... Hmm. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Okay, let's... Let's check our mail. I'm hoping... Yeah, oh, right. Good job, mail. Operator 6-0 to 2-B. Come in, 2B. I read you, Operator. Go ahead. It looks like the transporter we installed in the city ruins has gone offline. Our surface activity is going to be severely limited until we get it fixed. Can you head over there and get it working again when you have a sec? Will do. Thanks, 2B. Sending the details now. Hi, Moosies. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Terminal repairs accepted. We don't need Analysis. to... Use Non-functioning transporters can result in serious limitations to data uploading and other vital mission activities. Recommend repairing transporter as quickly as possible. Understood. All right, let's see what we've got for mail. Inbox. This should be everything. Yes, yes, yes. Emil, way bored. I'm kind of bored out of my mind over here, so how about swinging by the store? I've got some pretty good stuff on hand. Er, probably. Uh, Emil fishing info. This is, I think, because I caught a certain number of fish. Hey, friend, thanks for stopping by. You into fishing at all? For a while, I ate whatever I could get my hands on just to survive, so I actually know a fair bit about the art of angling. So today, I decided to let you in on some juicy info. So, different areas have different fishing spots. As a rule, you're usually going to find freshwater fish in rivers and saltwater fish in the sea. Oh, and you can also catch things like starfish and horseshoe crabs in shoals. But if you're looking for a huge catch, you'll need to aim for the deepest depths. The ponds of the boiling oil in the desert are usually filled with machine fish, and most of what you're, you'll find in the pipes buried across the world is plain old garbage. But if you keep at it, you might find something good. And finally, if you're looking for rare fish, there are more exotic fish th than you can shake a stick at in the subterranean lake near where I live. That's just a quip zi quip, quick zip and zoom away from the city ruins. Well, I think that's it. Later! All right, we are definitely going to have to check that out later. I think there's the only organic fish neck in the very deep, deep subterranean area. So if we wanted to complete our fishing list, which honestly takes like 30 hours to do, that would be one of the places that we go. Okay, let's see. Operator 60, as I mentioned over laser communication, the access point in the city... All right, we don't need that one. I want this one. Can we get this? Sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I've got a fish I want to recommend to your units. Er... To more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oil affects the aura unit. You know, for science. Anywho, stop by if you get bored. It's my treat. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can, that this is the right spot for it. Do these guys have anything? No. No. Okay. 
Let's see if we can't stop by Jackass. I think this is it. I think this is what we need. Leave me alone, Jackass. I can't deal with your weird hobbies anymore. Like, I care what you think, jerk. Ah, Jackass. Oh, hey there. Listen, just ignore that guy. Selfish fool refuses to help me with my work. See, I'm doing a study on the excitement levels of androids while in battle. Oh, we have to do this one too. But I need, uh, let's agree to help. All right, good to know not everyone around this joins the spineless huge Here, hunk of crap. follow me. We need this one, but we also need your fishing one, jackass. All right, see that jerk over there? I need you to get combat data for him. Science will pay you back for this, I promise. Now, fight! All right. Requested mission completed. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that was great. Hey, did you know the android battle fever is actually quite similar to the human emotion of love? So if we want to know what all those human records are always going on about, all we need to do is let our fists fly. Makes the whole thing feel more romantic, don't you think? Sure. Hmm, I still don't have enough data. Give her a hand. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I need you to wipe out those enemies over there without taking any damage, like at all. Now it's time, in the name of science. This is much easier on, on this level. What am I, 60, level 66? Yes, I love you, Yora Goons. I really do. Just look at all this data. Speaking of you, Yora Goons, I'm a bit surprised you types are so intellectual. I thought combat models would be a bit more dense, less thinking and more killing and all that. Frankly, giving you any kind of intellect at all strikes me as pointless. Ugh, oh, camera. Stop freaking out. More data. I need more data. Still haven't had enough, eh? I like you. You got guts, metaphorically speaking, of course. I want you to take out those enemies... Over there in 30 seconds, uh, we can do this, I think. Requested mission completed. We should have been able to. If we couldn't, I would have had to turn the game off and just consider myself not able to do it. Holy crispy crap on a stick. Now that is data. Hey, uh, here, look at this. See this reaction? It proves that android brains contain an algorithm which allows them to derive pleasure from battle. Without that, we'd probably have stopped fighting a long time ago. What a brutally efficient piece of evolution. It's possible that this is based on an identical pleasure center in the human brain. Man, those flesh bags really were something. I just need a teeny bit more data. Um, you look like you're not got nothing better to do, so give me a hand. Agree to help Jackass or carefully turn her down. Excellent. You're the best guinea pig a gal could ask for. This should be the last bit of data I need. I want you to wipe out those enemies in 30 seconds or less, and you can't take any damage either. Now. All right. Oh, God. Get down. Requested mission completed. Oh, Tony, are you still dead there? Maybe he never came back. Poor his body. Bloody hell. Bloody nasty gut-strewn hell. <laughs> Do you know what I just discovered? The excitement we feel in battle is caused by a type of pleasure-generating chemical produced in our circuits. Anyway, I think I can localize this substance and turn it into a drug that will help expand our combat ca capabilities. All these advances, and it's all thanks to you. See, I told you that science was the best. Anyway, keep an eye out for that drug. Once you get it synthesized, it's all yours. All right, we have another one, Jackass. I just uh, can't just whip up a complicated drug like that overnight. Go keep yourself busy for a while, yeah? All right, but we need the other quest from you as well. Can we get it now? Hmm. Where is your fishing one? Do we have to wait? Maybe. Oop. We need... Uh. 
Oh, we can chapter select in here. Awesome. That's cool. I, did, I thought we had to go back to the title screen. All right, jackass, you know what? Hey, thanks to you, I was able to create medicine using that research you helped me with. You should try it out if you find yourself with some spare time in your hands. Later, jackass. Do we get anything? I don't see any damage. Analysis. Transporter is now operational. This is Yorha Unit 2B. Connect me to Bunker Operator 6-0. Oh, hello, 2B. Operator 6-0 here. The transporter was being jammed by machine life forms. It should be working now. Looks green on my end, 2B. Nice work. I'll let Command know right away. I'll also be sending over a little reward for all your hard work. Roger. You know, 2B, I'm a little jealous. Don't get me wrong. I know all this fighting isn't easy for you. But you get to see all these new and amazing things out there. It just... It might be nice to visit the surface sometime, you know? That's all. I see. Uh, right. Apologies for the unnecessary chatter. Anyway, Operator 6-0, out. Ooh, we've got mail again. Oh, it's gonna suck to be an android that just mans the terminals the entire time. I would be jealous of 2B, too. Oh, you guys... Here, let's do this. I had promised before that I would walk around with 2B without a skirt on. Let's do that in this episode. We'll heal, heal ourselves a bit. There we go. All right. And we can change your sword out, so... Oh, we've clearly got only big swords on. Let's put something a little smaller. What do we have? Oh, she's still got her big swords. Oh, well. Nice 2B butt. Ha, huh, I bet someone is here to try the new combat wonder drug. I've already handed it out to a few folks, and man, is it ever popular. One taste and you're hooked for life. And yeah, it sounds bad when you say it like that, but your Yoro buddies don't seem to mind. Sure, there are some small side effects, like a horrifying, destabilizing effect on one's psyche. But none of that should be a problem for combat-focused models like you. Anyway, the first round's on me. Check it out and let me know what you think. E-drug. If you want more, go visit the Yora unit in the oil fields in the desert. She was asking for the recipe, so I'm sure she's cooking up a stash of her own. Jackass is, is complete. What is What does the E-drug do? Let's try it out. Hmm, how do we find this? Hopeful is booze. E drug. Disrupts auditory and visual feed for 30 seconds while generating other random effects. All right. Oh. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Can we. Let's find an enemy to fight. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if it changes. Changes what we do. Oh. Why is there, oh, it's that, I see. What do we want to do now? Jackass, fish, there we go. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I got a fish I want to recommend to Yora units. Er, to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oil affects the Yora unit. You know, for science. Anywho, stop by if you get bored. It's my treat, and let's see. Send her from Pascal. My friend, it feels like we haven't spoken in quite some time. As it turns out, many stores in our village recently acquired a number of blah 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 blah. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, let's uh, let's transport ourselves to the camp. And see what this mackerel is all about. And then there'll be another quest in the bag. Alright, jackass. What's this fish you've got for us? Oh yeah, I still have to give you that stupid fish. So this thing is called a mackerel, and apparently eating it has horrible effects on androids. I'd love to see what it does, so go ahead and chow down. Don't blame me if you die, though. Alright. Alright, sounds good. Let's hope we don't die. Key items? Where did you put it? Mackerel! Oh, we had one already. Let's use it. Having consumed the mackerel, it didn't take long for the android's bodily fluids to congeal. Muscle rigidity and paralysis soon followed. It was good, though. The android thought as consciousness faded. Exquisite, even. No wonder humans used to eat them. Oh, another ending. Amazing. Alright, guys. One more quest before we end this episode. I was doing this one. And I didn't have the camera running, and I was like, oh, I need to go back and do this one because it's pretty cute. Not that you guys should miss any of the quests, but sometimes they're not not any flavor text of craziness, but no, this one you need. So I'm just trying to get the mail right now. I'm gonna check this thing. Probably the best idea. Inbox. Alright, Operator 60, thank you for the help the other day. Thanks for fixing the transfer device the other day. I'd love to do the repairs myself, but operator models aren't allowed to go to Earth. There's so much you want to know about this planet, though. I'd love to hear some of your stories if you ever have time. Operator 6-0. Okay. Pod? Understood. I didn't say anything yet. The conversation between Operator 6-0 and Unit 2-B has been analyzed. Hypothesis. Unit 2-B wishes to send Operator 6-0 a gift from the surface so that she might be able to experience it in some fashion. That's right. Proposal. The gift should be a photograph of a rare flower. You think? Analysis of historical data indicates that human females enjoyed viewing the reproductive organs of flowering plants. If Unit 2B can procure appropriate image data, it could be uploaded to the bunker. Proposal. Unit 2B should obtain an image of the plant known as the Desert Rose. All right. All right, I guess, or we are going to the desert. So I was in the midst of this and I realized that I wanted you guys to hear Six O's happiness. So we're gonna go there now. Luckily this is a short knees one and a nice one to end off the quest with. I actually haven't completed this one, but I got pretty far in and realized that I needed this one to be fully captured, so I reloaded. All right, Desert Rose, where are you? One of these dots. Bolt proof. Ah. Pod, take a photograph of the Desert Rose and send it to Operator 60. Affirmative. The camera noise. Image data transfer complete. Two B, this is Operator Six O. Pick up. Two B here. Go ahead. Thank you so much for the picture. So this is a desert rose, huh? It seems almost mystical. There must just be a bounty of nature down there, huh? So yes, I've seen lilies, cherry blossoms, daffodils, and even lunar tears. I'll try to send more if I can. Oh, to be. I'm going to treasure this forever. Oh, and I'm going to send you a proper thank you mail later, so keep an eye out for it. Bye! See, wasn't that adorable? Alright, so now the last thing we have to do is go find ourselves a mail terminal, I guess. So that she can send us a proper thank you, whatever that might be. Honestly though, her her 6 ness was enough for me. All right, I'm gonna find that and we will continue 
So I'll see you guys there shortly. Oh, there's one right here. Never mind. For some reason, I thought I had to go far. All right, inbox. What do we get? Thanks. Oh, oh, a sword. Oh, and we got bombs too. I'm gonna have to try both of those out. Okay. Thank you for the lovely image of the desert rose. There's so many mystical things down on earth, huh? I'd love to head down there myself one day. Oh. All right, my lovelies. We will end it off here. I hope you enjoyed that episode and we will continue next time around. I think there's only a very few last things to do. So tune in next time, guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.